Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Thanks for taking the moment to learn a little bit more about me. I am 30 years old and I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. I'm a family woman, an avid reader, but sadly and most recently, I am also blind. I've spent the vast majority of my life pursuing my lifelong goal of becoming an attorney. And despite facing several medical challenges, including the loss of my hearing in my right ear, I am proud to say that I graduated with a law degree with a focus in criminal and international law. While preparing for the Maryland State Bar, my health took a turn for the worse. And in June of 2015, I was diagnosed with pseudotumor cerebri, a serious neurological issue that is slowly taking away my vision. I have consulted with a number of doctors and specialists, none of whom were able to determine the exact cause of my condition. And despite aggressive treatments between June and November of 2015, the doctors were unable to stop the progression of my condition, and it slowly damaged my optic nerves while I watched my world and the loved ones around me literally disappear in front of my own eyes. In November of 2015, in a last ditch effort to save what little vision I had, I underwent emergency neurosurgery at the Johns Hopkins University Hospital, where doctors were finally able to stabilize my condition and save the last remaining bits of my vision. Unfortunately, they were unable to reverse the damage that was already done, and as a result, I can barely see anything but light. Living my life as a person in the visually impaired community has definitely been a challenge, but I am not yet ready to give up the fight. I still have so many aspirations for myself, including becoming the amazing lawyer that I set out to be. This is where I need your help. I've been accepted to participate in the Stem Cell Ophthalmology Treatment Study sponsored by the National Institute of Health and headed by Dr. Stephen Levy in Connecticut. The study aims to use self-harvested stem cells to regenerate optic nerve function and to reverse vision loss. The study itself has had great ongoing success since its inception in 2013. However, the program is not funded, and as a result, participants like myself must fund the project themselves if they wish to participate. I need you to help me raise $25,000 so that I too may have the procedure done in August of this year. My friends and family have been so helpful and supportive, but they cannot do it on their own. I need your help to regain my vision. Please donate and help me regain my life. Thank you.